Hello, so this is Martin again um, with another tutorial on COPS linguistics. Um, I'll just show you how to edit data in Excel in this tutorial, so it's not really fancy but it'll take quite some time. So, first of all, I'm going to um, copy the edited text file. Um, not normal one, the edited one. Uh, hit Control A, Control C to copy it, and then I'll paste it into Excel. I'll label this column file and this column token, but really the naming doesn't really matter. And I'll create an ID ID column here. Um, then I'm going to mark the first three th cells. Uh, move the cursor, uh, cursor to the lower right corner double click and everything uh, has an ID now. So now I'll create some more um, columns and we copy the file column put it into a free column and call it year. Why? Because I want to have only the date here in that column. So what I go is I go to search and replace, look for uh, a space and anything that follows and replace with nothing only for that column replace here. So now I have in a very simple manner created column that contains the year uh, when the letter was written in which the man suffix occurred. Alright, now I'm going to copy this column put it here <coughs> and call it form. Of course I only want the uh, word that I was looking for in that column. So what I'm going to look for is uh, square brackets and anything that follows. I highlight column D and hit replace and now I'll do uh, basically tell the computer to look for uh, again to square brackets but I want to erase them uh, and anything that precedes them. So again hit replace and now what we got is basically the forms. Alright. In the next step I'm going to um, basically sort the data according to form um, of course, I want all the forms which are similar, um, like here, acknowledgements. I want it to be in a uh, uniform fashion. So I just drag it up, place it here, acknowledgements. Alright. So I do that for everything else, like uh, here, advertisement, or advertisement. Alright. Do it like that, and I'll create. Another column I call this hit. Why hit? Because uh, when you correct the spellings of the forms, right, you'll see or you'll come across items which are not really um, things that we're interested in. So, for example, you see uh, Clement, a name we don't know, want that, so we'd put zeros in here uh, since this is not a hit, right? And if you basically want to see the top row, you just highlight the second row, go to Ansicht, Fenster, Fixieren, Oberste Zeile Fixieren. And now, if you drag down, the top row remains visible. Alright, I've already done that. So, um, here you see that I excluded, for example, instrument by, you know, making it a zero. Here, I'll show you how to proceed then. Basically, back to start and you say uh, sort and we are going to sort according to uh, hit now all right and so all those we are not interested in which are not really hits right uh, items that we want to analyze um, all those are at the top now um, for example men right it's not a suffix so basically I just copied these and already put them into another file 
just so you have the entire data set, right? That you can go back to a uh, case which you exclude in case you want to analyze uh, analyze them further. All right. So after doing that, basically, I'm left with this table. Okay. So we've only hits, right? There are no ambiguous cases anymore. Here's the token. Here's something uh, I call test one and test two. And basically, these columns um, are meant to count how many instances of uh, a man suffixation occurs in a given uh, letter or year. All right. So the way to do it is just type in one at the very top. In the second row, in the second cell, I typed in equals then. Diese Zelle mit oder yeah. If this cell is the same as this cell, then put a zero in that cell. Or no, I want to do it differently. Um, then I want you to add one to the value of the cell above, and if they are not equal. I want you to start with one again. So uh, close the bracket and hit enter. So then I go and highlight that cell, go to the right lower corner and double click. And what it does now basically is whenever there's um, when whenever instances occur in the same letter, um, the test will count, right? And then when a new letter begins uh, it'll start over again with one. And the second test will do something similar. Also write gleich then. Um, open the brackets and say if this cell is the same as that cell then please put a zero in that cell and if not equal put a one there. So again hit enter and again go to the lower right corner double click and what this does is basically it gives us a one whenever the highest uh, number of the summation occurs right so here we basically can say that in that letter uh, there are seven men suffixes and here again this is just basically uh, one of the two occurrences here again that's the total sum we have one, that's all fine. Unfortunately, now you have the formulas in the cells. It's not really the numbers, right? If I go in that cell, you see there's formula in there. It just appears as if there's a number. So to correct that, we highlight everything, press Control C, go to the highest uh, cell, to the upper left, and uh, put Control V. Oh no go there again and say Inhalte einfügen go to Werte and then copy it into the spreadsheet of course now basically we have the numbers and not the formulas but of course we said just take the, the Werte right now next step is we'll sort the data again but not according to file but according to test 2 and we want the ones at the very beginning, so we say absteigt. Okay. So now, here all of these are uh, total concurrences of men suffixes in a given letter, right? So in this letter, there is seven. In this letter, there is two. In this letter, there is one, and so on. All right. So basically you don't need all those where hit is zero any longer alright so uh, here would be the end of the relevant table okay so we're almost there um, yeah now what I did was basically I took the information from the corpus uh, I'll just show you alright so here I have another Excel spreadsheet <coughs> We have the word counts, the token counts for each letter. All right. I basically copied that into the spreadsheet right here. It's basically the same. 
you have a word count for a given um, file and here I have the results basically right remember that letter had seven occurrences this letter had two and so on but unfortunately not each and every letter contained a man right so basically we need to push this cell down until it fits which is 18D right so we have to basically move it down right create new cells and push everything down right and here I created something else called a test uh, 4 or T3 um, test 3 of course and here I entered another uh, Venba field which basically says if this cell is equal to that cell then say va or true and if it's not equal then say false or wrong All right press enter now if I drag that down you see that whenever I push something down and it there is the correct line you'll have a true or va there right for me it makes it easier just to check whether I did everything correctly here this is 24a right we check here 24a is down there so we again need to uh, put in some empty cells push everything else down go to that cell uh, go to the lower right corner drag it down and there it's true again and as you see there is some empty cells already here I just you know pushed them back up again to show you guys just a few more so this one is from 1442a create new cells push everything down and to the right and then I just drag true down again and now everything is true so whenever <coughs> there is something a value in here you need to have a true of uh, all right right the next thing you can do is basically once you've done this you can highlight all these right and sell basically tell the computer if there is nothing in that cell right nothing at all there is no value then uh, replace it with a one uh, a zero right so you don't need to type all the zeros it would be cost us too much time all right and now basically we can create the per thousand word frequencies of man suffixes in a given letter so I'll call this column per thousand words I'll say okay equals no no open bracket uh, open bracket um, 7 divided by the total number of words right times a thousand right so here you have a per thousand word frequencies uh, of 4.8 uh, men suffixations per thousand words again go to the lower right corner double click and now you have all the values but we'll make it a little bit nicer um, we'll use different format and say well I want it to be a number and it should have two decimal numbers, decimal places. Just makes it neater, right? So now what we have space we have the date, right? Copy that and put it here. And we have a per thousand word frequency. Copy that. And now I'll just say uh einfügen Werte. Okay? Of course otherwise we'd get the formula and that wouldn't work again here we say no I don't want all those I just want two decimal places okay so next step we can basically create um, a graph from our results and see if we see something whether the use of mint has um, increased all right we say einfügen ein Punkte Diagramm machen es grau ich formatiere die oh, I'll use different um, 
don't want that. Yeah, I'll format that kind of sign. Choose just crosses. All right. Um, all right. Then you ca could, for example, go to layout, and you could say, well, no, I don't want and that much left. But you could do that as well, right? Well, I'll just go here again. Say, add a trend line. I'll take polynomic. Um, put it there. Then I will. Um, well, basically, I can show you how it looked like once I was done. Basically, it looked like this. All right. So you have um, heading the titles of the axes. You basically say what the crosses mean, right? They're per, per thousand word frequencies, and you add a trend line. Just you know, you have to be careful that you add the correct dates here. All right. So basically, um, that should be it for the moment. All right. Thanks for listening. Bye.